Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, AMD Vega finally has made an appearance in a third-party benchmark. Now, we have official numbers from the Vega GPU. Now, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can click on the article for yourself. Now, I'm using videocards.com, and for you, for those of you that don't know, this site has been very reliable with their leaks for the upcoming GPUs. They were spot on with the RX 480. They were spot on with the GTX 1080. They were even spot on with the uh, time frame on which these GPUs were to be release now I've used them before and like I said they are quite reliable and now we have official numbers in the CompuBench database that lists a new device ID now the device ID number is 687 F C1 now this is more commonly known as the Vega GPU and it's the same ID that we saw in January during the doom 4k ultra demo now the fact that Vega is already here in the benchmark means that it's very close to being released now I have have to say the initial benchmark numbers are quite excellent indeed now I'm just gonna break down some of the numbers here so you guys have a better understanding of how this works now if you can see right here you see that here on their uh, site you see the device clock frequency now this is the frequency of the clock now it's at 1000 to 2000 megahertz now at launch it's gonna be much higher than this it's probably gonna be about 1500 so the the results on this test are only going to get better now they also list the, the max compute units now according to the calculations from AMD 64 compute units equals 4096 stream processors now this is about twice the speed of the uh, RX 480. Now the RX 480 has much different specs. Now the RX 480 has 2,304 stream processors and it has 36 CUs. So as you can see, the um, Vega GPU that is in this benchmark here is more than twice the power of the RX 480. And right now, according to the benchmarks, as you can see here, um, these are some of the tests that they've done here. And according to these tests right now, like I said, the clocks are early and you know, this is an early engineering sample. So it's only gonna get better as they deploy better Vega drivers and of course increase the clock. But at the present moment, it is beating the GTX 1080, and it seems to be somewhere in between the GTX 1080 Ti and uh, GTX 1080. Now, I, like I said, I expect the results to get better over time. So if they can get close to the GTX 1080 Ti, like say within 5% of it, and you know, going on the track record of AMD recently, they have been quite disruptive in every market. You know, they're trying to disrupt the CPU market. Um, last year, they disrupted the GPU market with the RX 480, and now they want to disrupt the high-end GPU market. Now, if they can come in with this price aggressively, you know, undercutting the GTX 1080 and outperforming it, um, they have a clear winner on their hands here. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think, so please leave your comments down below. I'm quite excited for this. Now, this is like the first real benchmark that we've had for the Vega GPU and it's looking quite good indeed and with the early sample and it already being so high I am very optimistic for Vega's results anyways leave your comments down below I ask you guys to like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one